Are you ready for the unexpected? Here we go. You bite into a crispy fried chicken drumstick. In the end, sure, it becomes poop, but that's the result of a nine-meter journey through your gut that takes 24 to 72 hours. Behind the scenes, your body runs a complex biological system that's way more impressive than it sounds. Let's follow that bite as it turns from comfort food into a digestive masterpiece. The mouth, crunch mode, activated. It all starts with your teeth. Those molars aren't just chomping for fun. They're shredding that crispy skin and juicy meat into smaller pieces. The more surface area your teeth create, the easier the next steps will be. But it's not just mechanical. Your saliva jumps in like a flavor-savvy ninja. It contains an enzyme called amylase that immediately starts breaking down the carbs in the batter. That crunchy breading, it's already becoming sugar mush while you're still chewing. Your tongue helps roll everything into a moist little ball called a bolus. It's smooth, it's slippery, it's built to slide, and once you swallow, there's no turning back. The esophagus, the muscle tube you forgot existed. Once the bolus heads down your throat, it enters the esophagus. This tube connects your mouth to your stomach. But it's not a free fall slide. Your body uses a wave-like motion called peristalsis to push the bolus downward. Muscles squeeze in perfect rhythm to keep things moving. At the end of the esophagus, a muscular valve opens up. It's called the lower esophageal sphincter. Think of it like a secret door to your stomach. When it opens, that chicken enters a chamber unlike anything it's seen before. The stomach, acidic destruction zone. Now things get intense. Your stomach is not a polite guest. It's more like a rage-filled washing machine filled with acid. It secretes hydrochloric acid strong enough to dissolve a razor blade. Good thing your stomach is coated in thick mucus or it would digest itself. That chicken drumstick is now swimming in acid. The proteins in the meat start to unravel. An enzyme called pepsin jumps in and begins slicing those long protein chains into smaller pieces. The stomach churns the mixture like a blender. After about two to four hours, what's left is a grayish soupy mess called chime. The fried drumstick is now basically meat sludge. The duodenum, where enzymes attack again. Chime exits the stomach and enters the duodenum. This is the first part of the small intestine and where digestion gets scientific. Your liver jumps in and releases bile. That's a greenish fluid stored in your gallbladder. Its job is to break up fat, especially that greasy fried skin. Bile acts like dish soap. It turns large fat blobs into tiny droplets so enzymes can reach them more easily. Then your pancreas joins the party. It pumps out enzymes that target proteins, fats, and carbs. It even releases bicarbonate to neutralize the stomach acid. This is when the drumstick gets fully dismantled at the molecular level. Protein becomes amino acids. Fat becomes fatty acids and glycerol. Carbs become simple sugars. Your drumstick is now officially decoded. The small intestine. This is where you actually eat. Even though you swallowed the chicken an hour ago, your body is just now eating it. Nutrient absorption happens almost entirely in the small intestine. The walls of the intestine are lined with villi and microvilli. These tiny finger-like structures increase the surface area massively. Imagine an entire tennis court inside your belly. Each villus absorbs nutrients and sends them into your bloodstream. Amino acids go to your muscles to repair and grow. Fatty acids get stored for energy or turned into hormones. Glucose fuels your brain and cells. Vitamins, minerals, and water all get filtered and distributed. Whatever the body doesn't absorb, that's heading south. In the large intestine, the water squeezer. Next stop, the large intestine, also called the colon. At this point, the leftovers from your fried chicken have lost all nutritional value. It's mostly indigestible stuff, fiber, dead cells, some water, and a bunch of bacteria. The colon's main job is to absorb water and electrolytes. If your colon didn't do this, everything would leave your body as liquid. And nobody wants that. Meanwhile, your gut bacteria go to town. They feast on whatever you didn't digest. They produce gas as a byproduct. That's right. The farts you blamed on beans bacteria's fault. 
They also help create vitamins like K and some B vitamins. So yeah, they're freeloaders, but useful ones. Slowly as water is absorbed, the mushy mess becomes a more solid substance. You're getting close to the final product. 7. The rectum and anus, the final exit. When your colon is done processing the waste, the leftovers move into the rectum. This is your internal poop garage. Stretch sensors in the rectal walls detect when it's full. Your brain gets the signal. You feel that unmistakable pressure. That's your body saying, we're ready for launch. Two anal sphincters control the final act. One opens automatically. The other waits for your conscious approval. When the time is right and the bathroom is near, you release. Congratulations. That fried chicken drumstick is now poop. Bonus section, weird things you didn't know you needed to know. Poop is about 75% water. The rest is a mix of bacteria, undigested food, dead cells, mucus, and metabolic waste. Its brown color comes from bile pigments. Its smell. Blame sulfur and bacterial fermentation. The entire journey from mouth to toilet takes about 24 to 72 hours, depending on your metabolism, diet, hydration, and overall gut health. Fiber helps move things along. It adds bulk and feeds gut bacteria. Without it, your poop becomes hard and slow. Water also matters. Dehydration makes your colon pull too much water from the waste, leading to constipation. Also, your gut has its own nervous system called the enteric nervous system. It has over 100 million neurons and can operate independently from your brain. This is why you feel emotions in your stomach. Butterflies, anxious feelings, urgency. It's all real. Conclusion. A round of applause for your digestive system. Turning a fried chicken drumstick into energy muscle fuel vitamins and finally poop is no small feat. Your digestive system does it flawlessly every day without a single conscious thought from you. It breaks food down with acid and enzymes, absorbs nutrients with microscopic fingers, works with bacteria like a bio lab, and packages waste like a shipping center. So the next time you enjoy a greasy drumstick, remember that you're not just having lunch. You're launching a complex 30-foot-long internal adventure. And the final chapter always ends with a flush.